done safely. Uh, it involves anesthesia, just like spaying or neutering a dog or a cat. And so we can put them under general anesthetic, and if it's a little boy, the procedure is a neuter. If it's a little girl, the procedure is a spay. It's a little bit more invasive on the little girls because we actually have to make an incision into their belly and go inside the abdominal cavity to remove the uterus and ovaries. The ovaries are what release the estrogen or the sex hormone for the females, and so we have to take those out. For the little boys, they have their testicles and we can take those out from the outside, so it's a lot less invasive procedure for the little boys. This is something that's very good to do, especially if you have rabbits of opposite genders, so that you, unless you really want babies, this is a good way to make sure that you're protecting and preventing that from happening. So this little girl right here, when we spayed her, um, when she came in, we weren't sure if she was gonna be pregnant or if she had a problem going on because her belly was a little bit big and we thought maybe she was just uh, a bigger boned bunny. And when we spayed her, her uterus was actually full of fluid. Now there's two different types of procedures that can happen. One of them is very serious. The other one is not as serious, at least in the short term, and this is what was going on with her. So bunnies can get an infection in their uterus, just like a dog or a cat can. It's called a pyometra. It's very serious. They get very sick. They don't want to eat. They can be painful on their belly sometimes. They have some, some discharge from their external reproductive organs. And so it's something that um, if they get sick, again, another reason to get them into your veterinarian, because especially the female bunny that hasn't been altered, hasn't been spayed, this can be a very serious condition that involves immediately spaying them and getting them on antibiotics. And it's a life-saving procedure at that point. Or the other is a disease called cystic endometritis, where they basically have these cysts on the inside of their uterus, and those cysts will release fluid. It's a sterile fluid into the uterus. And that's what happened with this girl right here. So when we went to spay her, her uterus, instead of being this tiny little tube, was distended like a water balloon. And I think when we spayed her, she lost about a pound or maybe even slightly more just from the procedure itself, whereas usually there's no weight difference at all before and after the procedure because she had so much fluid in that uterus. So it worked out for the best. We didn't know it was there. She was young at that point. We were just getting her taken care of as far as her spay procedure. But she was definitely one of the... Um, Otter cases that I've ever seen in a bunny.